the whole book was inspired by the uh, Gibraltar annual short story competition, uh, which is, uh, the, the restriction is 1,000 words. And I entered this competition for the first time in 2014 uh, because I'd had a time in my life, I'd been made redundant and I had a bit of time to myself and I thought, I'm going to enter this competition and give it some time. And I um, had an idea in my head and it was based on a story about my grandmother and I wrote it all down and thought, yeah, that's it, did the word count, 2,500 words. And it was like, oh, this isn't easy as you think it's. You, th you kind of think, you know, like when you were at school and you think, oh, I've only got to write 500 words, it's easy. But when you actually have to write something concise and it's so tight, it isn't easy. And so I had to shave and throw away things that I thought were really good. And, and I, I, I got it to how I wanted it. And I actually did win the competition that year. And then after that, I've probably entered it nearly every year. On, and I've, I've developed this craft of being able to, I've got better at it. I just thought, I had six of these short stories already written from past competition entries, and I thought, if I write four more, I've got a nice set of ten, which makes 10,000 words exactly. Mm. And normally I might write one of these stories one a year to enter the competition, and I thought, I'll just get on with it, do it. And I've put it on hold because I wanted to launch it, but then the second lockdown happened. And then I thought, I'm going to wait until everyone can come out mask-free and enjoy themselves. And, and here we are tonight. How do you feel about the release of the book now, now that you've got those stories out there? Some that people may have seen before, and now some that uh, they won't have read before. I'm really, really excited. But at the moment, you know, it's out, so I want people to read it. And I would really welcome anybody's feedback. I mean, it's on Kindle, so if anyone does, even if you don't buy it on Kindle, if you do want to go on Amazon and you've read the book, uh, a little review if you like to, you want to give it a star rating, it really helps. It helps us local writers to get out there because we don't have all the bookshops and the, and, the, and the population to maybe boost our writing careers, but uh, you can do it on Kindle and on Amazon and uh, review the book and I welcome any crit constructed criticism and what people think. I mean the, the couple of people that have read it, like journalists that have read it to do reviews, uh, they've got their favourite ones and there's like three that have got Gibraltar connections and the things other people relate to and they're not all the same, some of them are sort of set in the 80s or the 90s, you know they're different eras, different people, different stories. So I think, and different people say different things, so I'm quite confident that some, there'll be something in there for everyone. And they're so easy to read, you can just open it and read one and then go back, you know. And I just think it's very accessible.